Hey Erschelings! Hey there! And welcome to a new video with us. Today we're gonna share with you nine things that every woman loves. And if you get those things and you did it right, you will own her heart. Yes, and if you do it consistently enough, you are on your way to a healthy long-term relationship with her. Mm -hmm. So stay with us to the end because many of those advice are completely new. If and wait for the bonus at the end. The very first thing, which is the most important one probably, is validating her emotions. So you know sometimes when your girlfriend gets a little bit emotional or oh upset or you, you think that she's like flip, flipping out about something small. Small. In her reality, it's never small. Exactly. And you might not even know what it is that she's actually upset about. Never underestimate her it's reactions. Going inside the woman. Yes. So never say the following things to a woman. What's going on? Are you in your period? No. Don't be so sensitive. You're overreacting. Eh. <laughs> That would drive women crazy, believe me guys, like I did this in a previous relationship, it was like really disaster. So don't do this. Always when she's emotional, find a way to connect to her. And don't call her crazy or hysterical. All of these things that we just mentioned, they are invalidating her emotions, invalidating the reason why she's feeling the way she's feeling. Mm -hmm. So if she was moody before, she will flip <laughs> and she will feel completely unseen by you. And the second one, take her boundaries seriously. A lot of women already have issues expressing our boundaries because we have been called bossy, aggressive and difficult in our childhood when we said no. Mm -hmm. So it's super important to respect when she has a boundary such as she doesn't like to have beer bottles in the bedroom or she doesn't like to watch TV in the bedroom or... Uh, that's like more me. Yeah. That's more like me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, or anything that she expresses, she doesn't like to spend time with a specific friend of yours. Don't pressure her, take her seriously. Mm -hmm. This especially applies to sexuality. It means a lot when you want to have like intimate, sexual, healthy connection with her to really see what she really like and what she doesn't like and listen to her. It's She's not saying this to manipulate you guys. It's really common in the beginning of the relationship that the woman has higher boundaries related to physical touch and kissing and sex and all of that stuff and it's super important to respect that and not tell her for example that she's being uptight that's like the worst that, thing you can do that's a, that's a word that drive women crazy like really don't say this this will completely invalidate her boundaries women need to go slowly with sexual connection they need like first to feel safe to feel contained to feel that really desires trust. and trust. So yeah, make sure that they feel this connection with you and really listen to their boundary and you will own their heart. And the third thing, very important, I appreciate who she is. This includes appreciating her body the way it is. Don't tell her that she has sagging boobs or that she has cellulite in her butt, <laughs> obviously. But this also includes not comparing her to other women. Don't say things like, I really love the way your friend Shannon wears her hair. Maybe you should try that too. That's just a sneaky way of criticizing her. Women are very sensitive to comparing themselves to others. Like if you compare your girlfriend, your partner to other women, she would like really feel her self-worth are down. Another important point, don't only compliment her body though. This would only make her feel that you are with her because of her looks. Yeah. And exactly. don't actually see her for who she is. So compliment her for her character, her humor, uh, her intellect as well. And if you cannot think of anything else besides her body, either you don't know her at all, or you might want to reconsider changing a partner. <laughs> and if you want to know her more, check our um, other video, how to be present. When you are present, you can know the other person in a way deeper level. And this would lead us to the point number four, which is... Get to know her deeply. So when we are in a relationship with somebody, expecting them to compliment our self-image and ignoring who they actually are, we call this living with an overlay. 
-hmm. and you don't want to do that. So this could be, for example, a rich man dating women for their looks. And some women might actually like this, but mostly it's because they don't know, think that they have anything else to offer or they don't think that they deserve to be wanted for who they are rather than their looks. I know personally when uh, somebody lives with an overlay of me, when they say things like, why aren't you smiling? As if my sole purpose is to smile and look pretty <laughs> in their reality or something. Like yeah. I don't get to have like my own personality and emotion. I just, I'm just like a, this, like, like a picture of somebody there. Like, okay, mm. check. <laughs> yeah, he has a beautiful girlfriend, nothing else. And this also comes up in a ways of that guys might have expectations on the woman's way of dressing themselves or the way she fixes herself when she goes out on a date with him or meets his friends. If you feel like, oh, you want to, her to wear different kinds of shoes or put more makeup on, this is simply you wanting her to compliment your self-image. You're not in a relationship with her as a person, mm -hmm. but on, with an image of her. So point number five is respect. Many guys fall in this trap where they say, for example, sex is joke or they say something like disrespectful about women, like in front of their partner. It could be something about other women. So this might be something like making jokes about how women are bad drivers or talking about when you used to have this hot uh, girlfriend. When you really objectify women of making her thing instead of a human being, person. Yeah, and even if you are not saying it to her, maybe you're saying it to your guy friend in front of, in her. Front of her. That also hurt. She would still feel disrespected by you and think that you are a jerk. Exactly. Don't yeah. be a jerk. And don't talk about other hot women in front of her when she's with you. That doesn't feel nice. Oh my God, she's so damn hot. <sighs> Number six. Be a partner for her and not somebody who needs a mommy. Oh my God. First of all, there is nothing wrong with needing nurture. And it's very important that if you are lacking nurture in your life, that you find a way to meet that need. However, please don't do it in a way where you seek that from your partner indirectly and roundabout ways. So first know your needs, address it directly to your partner. Don't mm -hmm. go around it in a sneaky way because that will give you disrespect from them. This might come up in the following ways. You are expecting her to support you, but not giving anything back. Or if you're expecting her to nurture you, but not providing her masculine containment in return. Mm -hmm. Or if you're expecting her to do all the cooking, cleaning, <clears throat> all the practical house stuff, mm. so that you can relax, as if you were still living with your mom. This mm -hmm. is like super frustrating for most women. Me, me, mommy, Mia, can you get me some food? I'm in the middle of the game. Like, I really can't leave it now. Get your own food. Oh. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> I would just throw the orange on your face. <laughs> yeah, don't take it for granted. And number seven, prioritize connection with her. What that means, try to be emotionally connected to yourself and connect to her at that level. The number one reason why women ask for divorce is emotional neglect. Most women have a very high need for emotional closeness and intimacy. Mm -hmm. So for example, in a conflict, conflict situation, always seek for resolution. Don't just walk away or like this is so completely painful. shut down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the woman will just think that you don't care deeply enough to seek resolution. It's extremely cruel to leave the other person just hanging wondering what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. That's like make the relationship super unsafe, guys. Also, take time to talk with her. Instead of prioritizing TV after work, oh. take time to just, you know, catch up with her about your days, like what happened. This will make her feel like you actually want to know her, that you care about her feelings and what's going mm. on in her life. And make time to connect to your feelings and share with her your feelings. Oh yeah. If it's difficult for you, watch our video titled Emotional Presence. It will be somewhere here. <laughs> you will see it. So if it's really difficult for you to connect to your emotions, it's okay. You can tell her this. Tell her that I'm having trouble 
knowing what I'm feeling. Can mm -hmm. you help me? And many women will be happy to help you get yeah. to know your inner world better. And this is how women like enrich our life, guys. Like you have no idea how beautiful it is when she sit with you and tell you, I'm going to be here with you to discover your inner world. So give her this chance because that will deepen the relationship like hell. Number eight, show her that you believe in her. Encourage her with her dreams and support her to go after what she's passionate about. What, whether it's knitting or doing art or something like this, don't make it seem like it's some kind of silly cute thing that she's doing. Take mm -hmm. it seriously. Don't judge her dreams and passions. Don't make it seem like her art is less important than household duties, for example. Mm -hmm. Let's give her time for that. This is something really important, guys. Like, for women, like, the thing that they really <laughs> care about and inspire is somehow different from us. So really give her this chance to be devoted to those tasks, to give her soul and energy to those, because those would make her feminine aspect shine. So mm -hmm. let's hold space for this beauty in her and allow her to be creative. Okay, number nine, be jealous, but not too much. Yes, he just said, be jealous. <laughs> not too much. Most of women, believe it or not, they really would love to have healthy ownership. They really want you to be caring for them, like looking after them and like defending them. And this is like a very important uh, masculine quality that yeah. women really appreciate. Of course, it's not healthy to be the controlling person that suffocates the other person, mm -hmm. you know, but that's not what we're saying at all. Mm -hmm. Imagine that your girlfriend has this guy friend that she sees three times a week. If you never ask her about who is this guy, she will feel like you don't care about her. Yeah. So what healthy ownership looks like? It's containment. It's standing up for her. It's showing her that you want her and that, you know, maybe you don't want to share her with other guys in romantic way at least. That's okay. Mm -hmm. And you know, in Northern Europe, where I come from, it's super common that we women learn to be super independent and strong. And there is a lot of shame around admitting that we might actually want a man who can protect us. Mm -hmm. As if we're supposed to protect ourselves from everything. We're not supposed to need that. No, that's bullshit. It's totally okay to need that. You know, girls, just like go for the ma guy who protects stands up you. for you and protects you. And fights for you. And fights for you. There's no shame around that. Yeah, and for guys, especially in like background where you didn't learn to be like grounded in your masculine, there is nothing wrong with fighting for her and trying to make her feel safe in the connection with you. Yeah, we want to feel that you actually want us. Yeah. That you want to be with us and that you don't want to share us romantically with someone else. Yeah, don't fr be afraid to fight for her. Unless she's polyamorous. That might be a different story. Might. Which we're <laughs> going to talk about in the coming video. Yes. And the bonus. And the bonus. Number 10. Is give her non-sexual non cuddle. Mm. As women are so desperate for connection and intimacy and closeness. But unfortunately, we are used to that we can only get that through sexual contact. Mm -hmm. And it's incredibly healing for us to get it in a non-sexual way. That we can just ask for a touch to be held, to be mm -hmm. cuddled, to be contained. Without it having to lead to sex every time. Yeah, yeah. so just spend time with her, touching her, being with her, holding her. And you can even ask her if she wishes for sexual touch or if she just wants to be contained. So this is very important. 10 tips to keep your relationship lasting forever. <laughs> forever and ever. <laughs> so I hope this video helped you guys. It's so important. Have amazing relationship in your life and share with us if there is something that helped you to have a deeper connection to your girlfriend, partner, woman, whatever. And women, if you agree with those steps, if you resonate with one of them more than others. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking with us all the way till the end. We love you very much. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. Bye bye. We're going to go cuddle now.
to this side. Mm -hmm. <laughs>